This video is a brief overview of our Troopmaster web for American Heritage Girls. As you can see, we have it designed for both your desktop and mobile browser. We've custom tailored these screens so they'll work on both devices. I'm going to go over each one of the menu items just briefly to show you what's in the program. If you'd like to see each menu item in more detail, please go to our how-to videos under troopmaster.com slash howtoahd.html. Here we go into each one of the menu items in much more detail. Uh, right now, you're seeing our desktop browser and our dark theme. This can be changed to our light theme under file and then light theme. Also under the file menu, we have our settings, our user account settings slash passwords. This is where you're going to set up your user ID and passwords for your members. And you can email them their settings so they can log in. Your user group slash permissions. This is where you're going to set up who can see what areas of the program, who can write to the database, and which members of the database uh, they can see. We have a view log. This will go in and let you see everything that's been changed within the system and who changed it. Uh, for instance, you can see that I changed this award. And you can click view and you can see that uh, what I did here was I changed the date from 6.15.05 to 6.15.15 because there was a typo. You can customize your website. This will give you a public front end. Um, to have information about your unit. It'll look similar to this. You can pick all different colors. This is one that it, um, that we did up for our uh, Boy Scout troop. It's just a demo site, but you can there's custom templates that you can go in and just add your own content. You can include pictures and, and so forth of things that your unit has done. So very easy to do to create your own website. You've got our archive. The archive in the system are, are scouts that have left your unit. So if you've deleted a scout and archived them, uh, you can go to open archive and go see their information from the past or you can retrieve them from the archive if they've come back to your unit. Under activities, you can get to activity management. This is where you're going to add new activities, view your current activities. Now by default, it's going to bring up plus or minus 90 days to see all of your activities. You're going to want to click show all activities. So if you click on view, you can see basic information. You can see attendance, RSVP status, if they've turned in a permission slip, if they've paid for the event, and comments from the registration. You can also print your permission slips from here. Under the registration, you can access the permission slip and activity documents. And if you wish to register for the event, you can do that from here as well. To make changes to the activity, you're going to click Edit. And from here, you can schedule an email reminder. So you can pick an email group to send to. You can pick scouts you want to send to, adults, parents. How many weeks prior to the event that you want to send the reminder. How many days prior and on a specific date. So you can put in, uh, you can select each one of these and, and three separate emails will go out at that time. And we have another video on this as well that goes into it in more detail. So here you can change attendance. Uh, you can put an X in uh, if they attended the entire time. If they only came in for like an hour or so, you can just put a one in there for one hour. If they're there for two hours, you can put in a two. Uh, it's very 
very flexible um, how you can do that. You can put in the amount that they've paid. Uh, they can pay for the event um, via PayPal if you set that up, and it will automatically put in the amount that was paid here for you. Under the registration, you can set up your registration start and your registration end dates, as well as the maximum number of members that can come to this event. This is where you select your permission slip for the activity and upload activity documents. You can also view your events in the calendar view. Here you have a color for each one of your activity types. These can be defined as well as adding new activity types under activities, define activity types. And you can get to the same activity just by clicking on it in the calendar. Okay, we have subscribe to calendar. Uh, this is going to give you a link that you can put in your personal calendar. Maybe you have a, a Google Calendar or something like that, and you want all of your units, activities to be included in your personal calendar, where you're just going to subscribe to that URL um, within Google to do that. Recurring activities, uh, that's um, you're going to set up activities that happen on a routine basis, like these meetings. Uh, these are set up, uh, the meeting from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock every Thursday. And it'll add it to the calendar for you that way. Under adults, we have adult management. This is where you can access all your adults. Uh, you can add photos for your adults. We don't have any in our demo database here. And you can click view to get to their personal information. Click edit to go edit any of that information. Emergency medical, remarks and other uh, documents. You can upload documents for each individual within the database. So if they have some type of certificate or something you want to store under that person, you can do so here. Get to their leadership positions. You can add new ones. The training that they're taking. Um, to make sure that they're all up to date on their required training, special awards they've earned, vehicles, and their years they've been in American Heritage Girls. The quick entry lets you quickly enter new members into your database. So you can select the user group that you want them added to, whether you want uh, this to automatically generate passwords for each user and email in their login settings after filling this out. So you're simply going to come in here, put in their first name, last name, email address, if they're a leader or not, click add members for each one of them, and it'll add them to the system, give them a user ID and password, and then they can come in and fill in the rest of their personal information if you've given that permission group permission to do so. We have point of contact management. These are contacts that are, they're not members of your unit, um, but maybe you want to keep track of some contacts um, outside of your unit, phone numbers and personal information, stuff like that, um, that your unit contacts on a routine basis. A group credit. You can group credit to special awards, training, and swimming for your adults. Under define, you can define new custom fields. Um, you can define up to eight custom fields that are not in the system that you want to track. Um, you just go there and then just add those to the system. Um, you can add new special awards, leadership positions, training courses, uh, point of contact categories, and point of contact skills. And if you want to transfer your adults to another unit using American Heritage Girls, 
you can do that or you can receive another adult from another unit using our Troopmaster web as well. For advancement, you got the list of scouts here. You can see it comes up with your advancement and you can do the same in the mobile app. You can click on a level and see exactly what she's completed, the merit badges she's earned under that level, and her service stars. To edit these, you just simply click edit, and you can put in a new date. You've got your completed merit badges. You can add new merit badges by clicking on edit. You select a badge. Click add. You pick which rank it's going under or which level. The date she's earned it and click add. We also have partial merit badges where you can track the progress of each badge. Here you can see that she's started working on the seven seas of history for Tenderheart. She's completed requirements one, two, and three, and these requirements are still open. You have your sports pins. You can see which one she started. Uh, there's a percentage there of how much of the sports pin she's completed and the one that she has completed. So for competitive cycling, you can see that she's only done one of the requirements. You put in another date. And you can go back and then you'll see that the percentage has increased. You can also come in here and credit uh, your hours. So you can give her a red disc, a white disc, or a blue disc. You can come here and track the individual hours. You can say she's done, maybe she's done, you know, one hour on... and put in a description and a date and you can save these if you like that way you can keep a detailed record of of her hours that she spent um, working on these pins you have service stars here you can see now this is based on your activity attendance for service projects she's attended 25 hours worth of service projects. She's used 25 with the stars that she has here. So she has zero hours available to credit towards a new star. You have the special awards. You can simply come in here, pick an award, click add to give her a new one. Also under advancement, we have group credit. You can credit multiple girls at the same time with different awards and badges. So you've got your, your badges, your special awards, your service stars, and your sports pins. All these can be group credited. Um, this means that you, know, you have a group of girls that all earn the same thing on the same date. You can come in here and give them credit for it all at once instead of going to each one of their record to award them that um, that award or whatever it was that she earned. And you can go to define new special awards in the system as well. Under fundraising, you can come in and define 
your own fundraiser. For instance, we have uh, just a simple candle fundraiser that we've put into the system just for demo purposes, um, a description of the product, the wholesale price and the retail price. You can add new ones by clicking the plus button and then typing in the new item. And you can track your sales. So you can see that four black candles were ordered and two blue candles were ordered. You can see that she's made a payment of $55. So she's collected this money and given it to the unit. And you can see the balance is still due. Under scout management, it's a lot like adult management, uh, just, just your scouts. You can see their personal information, emergency contact, medical information, remarks and other documents, parent, parent information, leadership positions, training, uh, family vehicles, and the years in AHG. You also have a quick entry here, just like you did under Scouts. You have uh, your squads where you can come in and assign your Scouts to a specific squad. Now you may not call your squad Explorer Squad or Pathfinder Squad. Uh, most likely you're gonna have names. You just come in here and click Add New and then pick the level of that squad and then assign your scouts. We have group credit options for training, swimming, and leadership unit election. Uh, so if your scouts change leadership um, every six months or so within a unit, you can come here in one place and swap their leadership positions. can define your custom field, special awards, leadership positions, and training courses. Each year when they uh, move to the next grade, you can just click promote to next grade and it'll up everybody's grade level by one. And you can transfer and receive them from another unit using Troopmaster Web. Our ledger um, is coming soon. We're working on that now. That'll be added to the system um, this year. We have over 100 reports. Uh, uh, reports that you probably want to run for activities are going to include your individual participation to see, you know, this what um, what each scout has participated in. So you can come in, you can pick a scout, you can pick which um, activity types you're interested in seeing, and then click generate report. We have adult reports where you can come in and see adult personal data, general purpose worksheet. Uh, that allows you to pick um, that allows you to create your own worksheet. Uh, so basically you can come in here and say I want um, I want phone number, the date that they um, got their physical and maybe um, the date of their tetanus shot and give the report a title. And it's gonna generate this report for you. So you can go through each one of the reports and see exactly what um, kind of data it puts out for you. Um, under advancement, uh, the individual progress report is gonna give you the progress of uh, what the scout is currently working on. The history is gonna give you everything that they've um, earned advancement wise in the past. You have custom reports where you can go pick your own um, columns for you know, your scouts and your adults. These can be saved so you can create your own custom reports. So you can pick each one of these columns 
and create your own. Uh, under advancement, we have a quarter of awards. This is what you're going to use, you know, every month or two months when you um, present your awards to your scouts. You can just come in here, put in a starting date and ending date, select what you want to include on the report, and click Generate Court of Awards. This is going to give you everything that was earned within the, that date range. So you can easily come in here and see what each scout has earned during that time frame and then um, purchase the, the, the badges or the patches and um, certificates or whatnot and, and then hand those out to your unit. Under email, uh, un you can go straight to email and you can send individual messages to um, members of your unit. You can send a text message. Uh, you can go change your email settings. You can define email groups. Uh, now what an email group is, is, uh, is a single address that's tied to a group of members within your unit. So if I assign all these people to this group and then I send an email to this single email address, each one of these people will get it. So that's basically what an email group is. So you can come in here and add new ones and you can put anybody you want in that group. And then when you send an email to this one email address, everyone in that group will get the email. We also have our weekly newsletter. So here you can enable the newsletter. You can pick which one of those email groups you want to send to. Your subject for the email and also your text on the top of the newsletter. Now under this text you can optionally include your activities and RSP, RSVP links and when you do that you'll get an email that looks similar to this. Now every week this is sent out and when users get this email, they can click to register for an event and they can see the other activities that are coming up as well. So if they were to click this link here, they would get a screen that looks like this. Um, this is the data that I've typed in for that registration and that activity. It also includes a permission slip so they can click on this and then print it out and sign it and then turn it in. It also includes those activity documents that I uh, showed you earlier. So if you have a waiver or a checklist that you want to include, you can include those activity documents and they can download them and have them when they go to register. They can also see who's coming to the event before they decide um, how they want to RSVP. They can see who's coming and then they can pick yes, no, or maybe. Maybe can be hidden under file and settings. If you don't want to give them a maybe option, you just want yes and no. They can type in some comments and then submit their RSVP. Now, if you've set up payment options and added cost to this event, you'll see PayPal buttons or cost descriptions down here in which they can then pay for the event as well. Under the unit menu, we have basic just unit journal information. Unit documents, we can upload uh, documents for your unit um, that you want your members to be able to download and custom filters. Now custom filters allow you to create filters that are not in the system so here's a test custom filter with these four people. You can put it adults, scouts, uh, it doesn't matter. You can add whoever you want to these filters. And when you do so, let's go to a, let's go take a look at a report. Let's go to a scout report and maybe just scout personal data so you can see what this does. And I'm going to come down here and pick that custom filter. 
and it's only going to show me the scouts that I added to that filter. If we go to one of our adult reports, let's go to adult personal data. I pick the same filter, it'll show me just the adult. So this is an easy way for you to create your own filter and come in here and select it and then only have the members within that filter. Okay, well that was our brief overview. And like I said, you can see each one of these areas in much more detail under our how-to videos page. That's troopmaster.com slash howtohg.html. If there are additional videos that you would like to see, please let us know. And we'll see if we can get those made for you. All right, thanks for watching.